Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Hey, don't you just love bacon? Look at that. A nice, juicy, succulent piece of cured, smoked pork belly. Don't you just love bacon? Well, I sure do. And how about some sriracha? Don't you just love sriracha and bacon? Now, what if you could combine them together and have a sriracha-flavored bacon? Wouldn't that be awesome? Does such a product exist? Well, it sure does because uh, we're back for our second review for Fat Cat Foods and this is their bacon flavored sriracha chili garlic sauce with natural bacon flavoring. And they've got a saying, it's perfectly good. All right, now this was sent to me from uh, Ale and Deborah Goldschmidt of Fat Cat Foods based in Orlando, Florida. And if you haven't checked out my first review where I did review uh, last night, they're uh, Siamese Sriracha, then make sure you check out that review. Awesome product. But uh, he has created a bacon flavored Sriracha. So this may be the first. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into this. Now it does say on the uh, side here, let me go ahead and read this. It says, uh, Our one of a kind bacon flavored Sriracha blends the garlicky, peppery punch of the classic Thai inspired hot sauce with the salty, smoky succulents of roasty toasty bacon what could be better use it to add a spicy savory and smoky kick to soups sandwiches bloody mary's wings eggs pizza barbecue chili pizza tacos burgers stir fry noodles marinades and more i think you just about covered everything ale now he's got a heat level uh, rating five out of ten on this one just like for his simi sriracha um all right, let's go ahead and get into the, uh, the ingredients. So once again, this is a vegan product. It is preservative-free, all-natural, gluten-free. So no preservatives at all in uh, his srirachas. Sodium is very, very low, only 45 milligrams of sodium. The ingredients, we start off with red chili peppers, cayenne peppers, roasted red peppers, which is roasted peppers, water, salt, and citric acid, garlic, water, cane sugar, vinegar, spices, xanthan gum, and natural bacon flavoring. Now, um, I, I kind of, uh, you know, uh, looked this up a little bit. I'm sure that Ale uh, used some type of natural bacon flavoring, maybe an extract. I don't know if it was in liquid form or powder form, but I think most of the time it's in liquid form. So there's no real bacon in here. It's not, there's no pork in here. So this is a vegan product. So I'm sure that, uh, you know, it's kind of limited in what you can do to create that um, natural bacon flavoring. But once again, probably some type of, uh, of extract. And so what you're trying to do, I think, when you have a bacon flavored anything is uh, capturing. There's three things when you, when you think about bacon. It's fat, smoke, and salt. And so you want to capture that, uh, those flavors, especially the maybe a little more saltiness or, or a uh, smokiness. Uh, to get that uh, bacon essence, uh, so to speak. You want that meaty uh, umami type flavoring, and so that I'm sure that's what he did. But um, let's go ahead and get into this. Now, uh, I want to uh, note the aroma on this. Now, I've got to admit, um, the first time that I tasted this, I was kind of disappointed because I said, well, where's, where's the bacon flavor? It really doesn't taste like bacon. But, you know, one thing that I like to do, um, and you probably know this, is that, you know, you just can't sit down and taste something for the very first time and, um, and get it uh, for a lot of the time. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. So I really like to take the time. What helped me understand this particular product, the bacon-flavored sriracha, is kind of comparing it to his uh, Siamese sriracha. Now, the aroma on this one is uh, you actually get more of a smokiness, more of a, um, of a roastedness uh, coming off the aroma more so than you do uh, with the Siamese Sriracha. His regular Sriracha, just kind of a more clean um, a pepper aroma, a little bit garlicky aroma coming off the, the regular one. But uh, on the, the bacon flavored Sriracha, you actually do get more um, of the um, of what you get from bacon. Um, now, here's the piece of bacon right here. When you smell this, what do you get? We well, definitely get that meaty uh, umami because it, you're actually holding a piece of bacon. But when you smell it, you get that um, you get smoke. 
you get that uh, kind of that uh, smokiness, roasted. Um, and I like the way he described it. I think it's it's really right on the uh, the salty, smoky succulents of roasty, toasty bacon. So you smell the smoke. You smell kind of the saltiness or the roastedness. And the more I got into this, the more I kind of studied this. I actually did that. It took days to kind of uh, compare these two. I tasted these uh, straight out of the refrigerator. I tasted them at room temperature. And I think to me, it really helps to smell things at room temperature, taste them at room temperature. You actually get more of that, the essence of, um, of smoked bacon. It has more of a smokiness to it. Now, I think, uh, let's go ahead and taste it. Um, and once again, um, ale has done a awesome job of um, just perfect consistency. This is what I like to see in a sriracha. Look at that. Just smooth, creamy, pureed up. It's got a perfect consistency for sriracha. Not too thick, not too thin, but most of all, everything is just pureed up. Well, here we go. Mm. Now, does it taste like bacon? Not really. Okay, let's just be honest. I mean, the only way you're going to be able to taste bacon is just to take a bite out of this. But, once again, with something bacon flavored, you're trying to capture the essence of what bacon is, that smokiness, that saltiness. And I think that the more and more I tasted this, or the more and more I got it, at first, I didn't, uh, I, I liked it, but I didn't like it for the fact, well, where's the bacon? I uh, really couldn't uh, get that. And the, But the more and more that I've used this, um, I really do think that you did a good job, Ale, of getting that, a little more of that uh, smokiness, that roasted kind of a essence of what you get from bacon. I mean, you're not going to get the real bacon flavor because bacon's not in here. But uh, I think you did a great job. And I'm sure you used one of those natural bacon flavorings. you got to be careful with those things because uh, there can be a bitterness to them. Uh, so I think you did this very, very well. Um, but let's just go ahead and uh, since I've got this piece of bacon here, um, let's just go ahead and taste this on bacon. All right, there we go. Mm. This stuff is great. Mm. Now this tastes like bacon. So once again, the aftertaste of real bacon, the saltiness, the smokiness, um, and you actually do get that in this. Um, first time you try this, you may not like it, but give it a chance. Um, I think you did a great job, Bill. Um, this is a type that I think is really good. I'll put this on eggs in the morning. There's a picture of it right there. I think this one, um, now Ale, I do agree with you. Ale was saying, you know, he thinks that the, um, the regular uh, Siamese sriracha is really good or maybe some of the lighter foods like you know dumplings and noodles and and uh, sushi things like that uh, this one's got a little bit more hardiness to it a little bit more smokiness to it this would be good on burgers um, pizza uh, things like that but uh, anything that you want to put sriracha on these are just uh, great products uh, so on flavor um, giving this a 9 out of 10 for flavor great job uh, on this one Ale and I say on heat once again, I think it's about a 2, 2 to 3 out of 10 um, for heat in that category. I'll give it a 2 out of 10 for heat on my scale. But um, highly recommended product, guys. Check this stuff out. Once again, if you're a fan of the uh, David Trans, the Rooster Sauce, great product. I love it. Uh, I'll continue using it. But if you want something that uh, has no preservatives in it at all, then you really can't go wrong with these two products uh, from... Uh, Fat Cat Foods, highly recommended. All right. Uh, thanks, Ale, for sending it. I really do appreciate it. Everybody, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the review. Stay tuned for lots more reviews. And until the next time, enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.